My area of research is photosynthesis, my broad area of research. But specifically, it's the way plants interact with light. Uh, light is by far the major deterministic factor of plant performance, plant development, growth and, and yield. The project we are working currently with Valoya and Microsoft involves uh, establishment of a new generation of lights, artificial lights, for plant growth and experimentation with uh, light stress on plants. Valoya Microsoft system is promising us to bring natural environment, light from the natural environment into the lab. We can replicate the light environment, for example, from uh, Indonesian fields where various crops are growing, and we can establish this light environment in our laboratory in here in London. We can either have this climate in real time, or we can simply can record this climate and run, say, summer in Indonesia here, you know, and, and in, in spring or in autumn or in summer, any, any, any basically day of, of the year. And also we can create possible uh, more extreme light environment fluctuations, um, which, which never happened yet on our planet, but which we may anticipate or climatologists may anticipate in the future with coming uh, global climate changes. And those people who grow plants indoors on industrial scales, uh, they may benefit from system like Valoya Microsoft, um, that their plants, their seedlings, they grow just, um, you know, all, all sorts of agricultural uses uh, will, will gain much better properties. We got involved with Queen Mary uh, with this project uh, last January, January 2015. Uh, it originally started with uh, uh, us being contacted by Microsoft, uh, uh, and, and they were interested to, to, to do work with uh, Internet of Things, cloud computing, and agriculture. This was originally enabled by, by some new LED technology that we, we developed in the company uh, about a year ago. And, and what, what was missing from that was, was the software. So now we have a completely new solution or a product uh, which we can offer now with our system. They can also simulate the light conditions. What they actually can also do is that they can go out and, and uh, uh, measure or sensor the light quality in, in let's say Guatemala, uh, store it into the cloud and then six hours later they can uh, run that program somewhere else in the world when, when, when the researcher comes to work at night. On the whole surface of our planet we are getting terawatts of energy and that is the future not only for plants, not only for photosynthetic organisms but probably for mankind to think about how to concentrate this vast amounts of dilute energy of light.